At the beginning of time, somebody said, let there be light, and that was light, and the sunlight. And when the sun goes down, everything turns dark, no more light. And after a while, as the human civilization developed, then we man-made light. And this man-made light, as you can see from this uh, NASA photograph here, it lights up the populated region and also the most developed region of the world. And that's how we make light to light up the world. And then where are these light sources? At the beginning, that was fire. The fire gives you heat and light that we can see and activities can go on after the sun goes down. And then we have candles and then we have oil lamps and we start burning midnight oil. When electricity came along, and then we have the electric light bulb, and then we have the fluorescence light. But something you might not know, to power this light, it consumes more than 20% of the power that we produced. It burns a lot of fossil fuel. What's worse is these lights, they are extremely inefficient that we have been using for over 100 years. It gives out a lot of heat, just like this light here, and this heat is wasted and then we need more air conditioning to cool our room. And also, it pollutes the air, and some of the fluorescence light, it also pollutes the groundwater because the mercury in there. And then there's the semiconductor materials that came along, and this, it only gives you the single wavelength of light, and it doesn't give out any heat. And with this light, we can make our world very colorful. <coughs> We can have all colors of light, and we also can make LED light bulbs that doesn't give heat. And this is before we have the white light. We use the LED for all the display, and you see this giant display outside, you see the traffic signals, and you can do all the different colors of lighting. And we can have Christmas year round, and we can have the city of light around the world, light up by this different color LEDs, and you can program it, you can deliver any signal you want remotely, and it, it's very convenient. This is a replacement of the neon light. And then from this display to illumination, and this is what I'm showing here, this is the, some of the LED installations around the world. And that took another decade to have the LED in order to have the strong enough light for illumination. And this one, it shows you how much light that you can get from a single LED over the years. It has increased exponentially, the blue curve. And then at the same time, the red curve, it shows you how much the cost has gone down over the past few decades. And this enables us that can use the semiconductor material as a lighting source, and not just for display, and also for illumination. At the Hong Kong University of Science and Technology in our laboratories, in addition to making very powerful light, we also miniaturize these LEDs. And this is what you see here. And those are giant screen that you're seeing outside everywhere in this forum, and we make it the size of your fingernail. And then it can display very high resolution and different color and what you can use it for, this is one example that we have dreamed up. It's that you can have a three-in-one traffic light. You no longer need the green, red, and yellow. Just the three lattice chips, LED on silicon. That's what we codename it. In Chinese, it's uh, lattice technology. And we can even make it smaller. And it's smaller than the size of a dime. And this is a very small micro display that we make. And what do you use as a micro display for? You can have additional eyes anywhere. You can connect this micro display, the near to eye display, to any camera. You can put the camera at your back, you put the camera at home, you can put the camera at work with a switch of the button that you can see what's going on behind you and anywhere. And you can also see a very high resolution movie that you can see here in blue or in green. You can project it on the wall, and then you can make a virtual window. And you don't have to need to have a real window that you can look outside and see how the weather changes. You can just look at this, project it on your wall, a room without a window, 
but you can see what's going on outside. If you want to see the wheel thing, and uh, we have the wheel thing here. This is a demo. That is the, there's a blue display, the size 1.2 centimeter by 0.8 centimeter. And this is about the size of your fingernail. And the green one is a little bit smaller. And I'm just going to show this one here. Thank you.